The reading is from Acts 17, verses 22 to 31. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown? This I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, he who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth, and allotted the times of their existence and boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your own poets have said. For we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone or image formed by the art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people wherever we are to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man who he has appointed. And of this he has given assurance by all, by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> 